A real life hit. So it's a collision more than anything. Um, so the hit. There's two opposing forces. This guy's going this way. Then there's going to be another guy coming this way. So they're going to collide. And I think the green guy is more successful because he actually has this lower center of gravity, so he is down low, whereas the guy in the blue shirt is higher than him, and the guy in the green is sort of going down and up. So as you can see his body shape is kind of like that this guy is still he's kind of off balance it's because he just caught the ball um, so his shape is like that and remember it's all about getting cool shapes which help sell uh, the force of everything the energy and the balance is all in like uh, the shapes so he's going up and across and then the collisions here as you can when it's blurred we can feel that they kind of bend this way and then because he's got a better center of gravity and more force causes the guy in the blue shirt to change shape to his shape so like that so this force wins and then he's off balance and falling now changing direction this going screen left so the guy in the green shirt keeps his balance and his force and he stays upright so he's he's fine and the guy in the blue shirt is beaten by that force going down as he falls down and the guy in the blue shirt is just standing up fine but he also changes direction because of the force coming this way so now he's going back this way but obviously the guy in the blue shirt is he keeps moving down Shape change there, move energy collides. It's Captain America throwing a punch. It's a cool punch, but it feels light. Like there's some nice poses in here. You see like the spacing of a punch. This is feels powerful is over three frames it covers the whole from screen left to screen right uh, but there's no real like it punches uh, an alien or something in midair and I guess it's a pretty powerful punch but there's no there's no force change there's no um, direction change from his body or his shoulder it looks like he's punching air and maybe that's what the creators wanted Captain America to have a powerful punch but it would be nice if it 
the, his arm just came back a little. So that feels very really light. Um, we got a Pacific Rim. This feels nice and heavy. Um, this feels more believable. There is a slight. So the punch comes from down low. There is a slight direction change. Well, we know the punch is heavy because he's a heavy. Um, the spacing on it is, first of all, is a lot closer. So the frames are closer to each other. So that feels heavy. But there's also a reaction from the uh, the creature. So you can see the pose on the creature. He straightens out here, his, his head straightens out. So that reaction shows it's a massive hit. As his jaw and his head rotate this way, As the force continues through his face and then it kind of goes up comes down so there's lots of force in that punch so you can feel that more giant creatures and this hit feels nice and heavy too because the head is here in the profile and then suddenly it's starting it's twisted this way from this opposing force coming down down and then another frame of the creature's head twisted this way So that feels heavy and then down as the jaw closes and then this rock is the big heavy object getting used as a weapon and that kind of comes down but because of the creature's head it's getting pushed down and then explodes which adds to a nice hit and if we track track the rocks distance the 
is a nice one frame acceleration you feel it from there to here it's like a extra push for that hit and then obviously we have reaction from the creature falling this way which helps here's another hit from the movie same movie Guessing the stick is around here. So that's the spacing of a giant swing. Really, it's four frames, four or five frames. So giant spacing for big hits as this creature's head snaps back. And then the reaction of the creature helps. And Kong's hit continues through. You really feel the the power and the just the hit and the impact uh, in these in this animation, um, just with these held frames and slight easing in. So what they've done is so over one frame, it goes from here heading down to here. But then there's how many frames? That's 18 from um, 16 frames. 16 frames of the elbow pushing down the force into that same spot. So you feel that sinking, the arrow sinking into muscle and flesh. And it feels very heavy and deep. And then you got like follow through poses, and the body, the shoulder settles. And then you have this couple of frames of, well, this quick transition into. A reaction frame from the both of them. As the elbow still stays here. To emphasize that hit was massive. His face here. His rage here. Again, still the elbow is down here. And they've done the same thing for the other guy. So one frame kick is the foot. Extended. The body's in a cool pose, showing the power and the force of the kick. Straightening out. Straight leg. So that energy is all going this way. His head snaps back. And then they hold this pose for a while. There's a, there's a slight ease out of each pose. Slight moving hold. From up 
here. Sells the impact of the hit. So one uh, one punch man. Showing a giant hit. Through one pose into punching pose into outstretched arm pose, and then we have the reaction of the energy in the guy's stretched neck and head, and that's kind of helpful while, but you have things like. Or more energy that travels through with blood and teeth even like his bottom lip flaps but everything kind of remains the same because it's already he's ready in his like final hit pose like he's snapped there so hard so quick because of the force of the punch everything else is moving around him like the skin so his neck and head can't move anymore. It was so powerful on the first hit, it got there by the first frame. And that sells it really well. Just like easing out into a twist in his head and neck. <laughs> 